up everybody, it's Squid here, and today we're going to be doing the first ever episode of The Pirate Ship, and we are going to be discussing Batman Arkham City now. If you don't know what The Pirate Ship is, it's basically where I cover early 2000s games and review them. It's going to be a lot of fun for me and you, so I really hope y'all enjoy it. By the way, Batman Arkham City was one of my favorite games growing up, and I love this game too. <laughs> and so, um, if you ask me, this game is fantastic. I know. I love myself, I love No, you go to the depths of frick where you belong. Whoa, Louie, what do you want to talk like that? I just kind of decided to grow it after you made the show. I love Batman. I love everything about this character. From his legacy he has left to the iconic stories he has left. It is so great to see this character grow well before he gets rebooted. Again, I think my favorite character in the Batman mythos is probably Two-Face. I love his complex nature and everything he does in, in the series. Batman has always been there since I was a young kid. From the Justice League TV show, that was way too good for its own good, for its own right. The Batman Brave and the Bold, one of the most campiest but thick series around. There's everything about Batman Screams video game. And now it is. Batman Arkham City basically writes itself, you know, big based on Batman and all. Batman Arkham City was the first Arkham game I, I played. So no Arkham Asylum for me. I tried that game, but never really got into it. The levels were just too small and I didn't really like it. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to refer to Arkham City as AC for now on out. For mine and your convenience, AC is one of the greatest games ever. The combat system is one of the most fluent things ever. I'm a huge fan of those solo early 2000 combat stuff. For now on, let's call that donkey combat, because I that combat is donkey, dude. I love the story in this game. And why does this game start with Catwoman? No sense! No sense at all! Anywho, Hugo Strange through Bat Bruce Wayne and is trying to figure out what Protocol 10 is. Man, it looks like that was a mix of my history in the game and the game itself. It's almost, it's almost like this guy wrote this script in two different days. I completely forgot what we were talking about midway through. Right? Such a fool. So let's talk about some donkey. This game has the most donkey gameplay I've ever seen. Now, before I played AC, I will play AC3. So yeah, playing Assassin's Creed 3 before this wasn't the best idea. The reason being is that the combat is super similar with minor changes that completely threw me off. For example, running with R1 Running with R1 in Assassin's Creed just felt right. You know, having it in the back buttons, I played on the PS3 and it felt just thick. But in AC, it was with X. There's a huge learning curve right there. It just didn't feel right. And even just like swapping in between games while playing it, it, it just didn't feel right at all. I, I never really got used to it. Also, this game is fuck. <laughs> what I mean by that is that this game has all 24 frames of Nick. YouTube channel plug. It looks amazing. I love that you can play as two other characters. Oh yeah, did I mention I got the Game Gear Edition? Because I did, and it's fire. This game is so hot, it might actually burn my house down. Let's hope not. Now that I covered all the important stuff, so let's cover something less important, but even more important, the boss fight. This game has some of the mo some of the best boss fights ever. For example, Mr. Freeze, you gotta use everything in your arsenal to win, and I mean everything. From Sneaky Snacky to Globamo! And with my boy Clayface and Ra Raza Ghoul. It's a pretty thick experience with the thick gameplay. Man, it sure is getting hot here. How about we cool this place down with some negatives about the game? Or I could just call the department. Nah, I just trust global warming. Okay, so as I said earlier, adjusting to the controls was a little difficult, but I slowly adjusted well. Also, some of the sneaking is a, is a tad bit off. For example, when I'm like hidden 
they can still see me, which is very weird. It just ain't a chief. But overall, this game is a great package, and you should get it. 10 out of 10 Joey Tribbiani's. With three different campaigns and multiple collectibles and a boss fight, this game is spectacular. And oh man, that game was so hot, it burned my house down. And now I'm trying to stay away from any other Batman game, so it doesn't really, uh, <laughs> pull, pull, burn my dick out.